If you're thinking about retiring, then this video will make you think again. Have you really considered the difference that one more year makes? One more year of working, one more year of saving, one less year of spending. This is going to shock you because it shocked me too. In this video, I'm going to show you how waiting just one more year can make all the difference. Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is James. I'm a financial planner and this is a place where you can learn to make smarter financial decisions. A few weeks ago, I released a free cash flow modeling tool that you can use to calculate whether you're on track to achieve your retirement goals. Overall, it has been a great success and thousands of you have been using it to start exploring your financial futures. However, Shortly after releasing the video, I received this message from a viewer, Ben, who'd used the tool and it looked like he'd found a fundamental error. Just my luck. He noticed that if he set his retirement age to 51, the model projected that he would have ended up with £83,000 at age 95. But if he waited just one more year and retired at 52, then he would end up with £376,000. That's almost £200,000 in difference just by waiting one more year. To put this into context, in that extra year from 51 to 52, he would have only saved an additional 17,000 pounds. And Ben could not understand how that could make such a big difference and neither could I. Every time I release a video, there's this period of about an hour where I'm just sitting there nervous as hell, waiting for that first comment to come through where somebody spotted a mistake or that I've done something wrong. And in this example, he noticed this after already thousands of people had viewed the video and loads of you were already using the tool and he'd found this mistake. And I was just like, God, what an embarrassment. I'm gonna to have to take the video down. I'm gonna to have to rework the model, nightmare. So I started to look at it. And as it happens, there was nothing wrong with the model at all. Before I dive into an explanation, I want to just say that a major purpose of this channel is to get people out of one more year syndrome, where they're just kicking the can down the road and working for an extra year when they don't need to. But as you're about to see, one more year can make all the difference. And throughout the rest of this video, we'll be using my cash flow model and other software to show you why it's so important that you time your retirement Right. So first, let's dive into my cash flow tool and look at Ben's example. Now, I have a slightly modified Ben's input to make this clearer, but we're still going to see the same effects. In this, Ben is 33 years old. He currently has £60,000 in pensions and £20,000 in ICES. He's saving £6,000 a year into pensions, £5,000 a year into ICES, and he's increasing these contributions each year at a rate of 2 percent. He's also a higher risk investor. And with this, the model is projecting that his assets will then grow over time to just shy of 700k before he retires at 55. Now, these figures are inflation adjusted. So that's 700k in today's money. Then in retirement, he plans on spending £40,000 a year until he's 75 and £30,000 a year thereafter with a full state pension kicking in at 67. And with this, he's projected to run out of money at age 95, which is not bad. But what if we move his retirement date back by just one year? So he retires at 56 instead of 55. Bam. Not only is he not going to run out of money, but he's projected to have 320K left over at 95. How is that possible? He's made 320K simply by retiring a year later. Well, it is. Let me explain. By retiring one year later, Ben has an extra year to save. And given that his contributions were growing over time, our model is showing that in that final year, in that extra year, he would have saved 17,000 pounds. I mean, that is a lot, but it's not 320K. However, by waiting an extra year, he's also avoiding an extra year of spending, which means he saves an extra 40K and his assets have had an extra year to grow. So he's actually ending up with about 70,000 pounds more at the point of retirement just by waiting one year. And that's 70,000 pounds that then remains invested from the age of 56 
all the way up to 95. So that's 39 years of compound returns. And that is where we get our 320K figure from. And then check this out. If Ben was to retire at 57, he would have ended up with 620,000 pounds. And at 58, almost a million. This right here shows you what a difference a year makes. And it's all down to that magical power of compound growth. Now we need to remember that in this model, we are using linear returns, but in the real world, investments do not function like this. And there are an infinite number of ways that this could play out in reality. It could be a lot better than this. It could also be a lot worse. So to give us a more accurate picture, I've built Ben's plan into a tool called timeline. This is a tool that I use with clients to stress test their retirement plans against historical data to see how well they would have performed if we'd started that plan at any point over the last 100 years. You enter in the client's age, assets, contributions, asset allocation, and expected future expenditure. It then looks at how that plan would have performed if it had started at any month over the last 100 years. And this is what that output looks like. We can see that here, he retires at 55, and at that point, he would have had 664K across pensions and ICEs, which is what my model was predicting. And then this dark blue line represents the median scenario or the average. In this example, he would have run out of money at 95. But unlike my model, which only shows us a linear average, here we can see the results of over 700 different starting points and sequences of return. So whilst the thin blue line represents one scenario, the median scenario, the dark blue area here represents all the scenarios that fell between the 70th and 30th percentile. And the lighter blue area represents all the scenarios that fell between the 90th and 10th percentiles. So the starting points that were followed by the best sequence of returns end up up here. These would have been starting points in the 1920s, 1940s, late 70s and 80s. But if there was a poor sequence of returns after retirement, like in the 1960s and early 70s, then Ben would have ended up running out of money. And this figure here is telling us that 49% of scenarios were successful and did not run out of money before 95, while 51% did run out of money. So this is a much more accurate way of testing a retirement plan because it takes into account real market data and shows us the historical probability of success. Now, let's see what happens if he waits just one more year and instead retires at 56. Our chances of success jump up to 63% and our average scenario now ends up with 463,000 pounds, whereas before we were running out of money. And if we then increase this to 57, we get a 71% chance of success and 894k and to 58, 83% and 1.3 million left over. And remember, that's inflation adjusted. So that's 1.3 million in today's money. In nominal terms, it would be more like 3 million pounds. Retire three years later, and on average, you'll end up with an extra 3 million pounds. This is just insane. So insane that it's hard for the human brain to comprehend. Ben thought this was an error. I also thought this was an error. So guys, there are two key takeaways from this video. One is obvious and the other is not. One more year clearly makes all the difference, which is why it is so important you do your best to calculate this stuff. But one more year can also be pointless. We have three resources in life, time, money, and health. When you're young, money is scarce, whilst time and health are abundant. So we're happy to trade them for money. But there comes a point where we've accumulated enough assets that time and health become the scarce resource. Time and health become more valuable than more money. So although one year can make a lot of difference, there comes a point when it doesn't. There are millions of people in the UK and across the world who have already crossed this point, And it's my job to get as many of you to wake up to this reality. If you have not seen it already, please check out this video here where I introduce the cash flow plan I featured in this video. It's a great tool that you can use to start investigating this stuff for yourself. So please do check it out. I'll see you there.